Oh, hi everyone. It's Mr. Rudy here. We're at Kingston Park. We're going to walk along Kingston Park Storybook Trail once again. And the book we're going to read is Bird Builds a Nest. So come along with me and I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye-bye. Bird Builds a Nest by Martin Jenkins, illustrated by Richard Jones. It's a beautiful day. Bird is up early. She's got a lot to do. First, she needs some breakfast. What she wants is a nice, juicy, Uh, I don't know. We do not have this page of our story here. So, guess what? We're going to have to make a trip downtown and go to the library and find out what our missing page says. Bird pulls hard, but the worm pulls back. It's a big worm and it's strong. Too strong for Bird. 
Ah, oh, this one's better. It's smaller and not as strong. Delicious. Now Bird can get on with her work. She's not looking for worms now. She needs twigs, lots of twigs. This one's too heavy. And so is this one. All of these will do fine. Bird can carry one large twig, or two medium-sized twigs, or three or four small twigs, although it's hard to fit that many in her beak at once. She's building her nest. It's not quite finished though. Carefully, she pushes a twig into the side of the nest and pulls its end back out. Pushing and pulling, she gets all the twigs in place. She works for hours, flying back and forth, fetching and carrying, pushing and pulling. Sometimes she drops a twig but it doesn't matter. She's looking for softer things now. Dried grass and feathers. They're very light. She can carry lots of these at once. She tucks them into place, turning around and around, pushing with her whole body. She makes a snug little cup, smooth and soft on the inside. The nest is ready and waiting. Can you guess what it's waiting for? Eggs! Five of them speckled and beautiful and getting ready to hatch.